Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, I've just been looking at some footage here of Child of Light. Really interesting game, interesting art style. We've got Aurora, our main character here. Interesting young, sort of female protagonist. All this sort of mythology and art style um, to take in. But what I wanted to do um, was not only to look at the game, um, but also to talk to someone who's, who's been involved in integral in designing it. So we're going to get um, Patrick um, Plaud on the phone. Hello, Patrick Club, the creative director. Hi Patrick, I understand you're working on Child of Light. Would you have some time to talk to us about the game? Of course, of course. Super. So, uh, Child of Light, we've seen a bit of it, and it's quite a striking visual game. Um, could you tell us a bit about where that, where that visual style came from? Uh, well, early on, I had the idea of making like an old school, old time game. Uh, like in, in the you know, Final Fantasy mode, and instead of uh, going with pixels, uh, to go directly with the concept art. So to really add that, you know, painterly style uh, for our game. So then I started to research different you know, paintings that would be interesting, and then I stumbled on the, uh, the period called the Golden Age of Illustration. <laughs> Where you get artists like uh, Arthur Reckon, uh, Gustav Gary, uh, John Bauer, for example. So, uh, so you know, he, and they all use a little bit like you know, watercolor and ink. And I found that that style really, really interesting. So we went with it. Mm -hmm. And this was using the same same tools as as has been used in Rayman Legends and Rayman Origins. Is that right? Yes, so it's called the, the GP Art Framework, uh, and, and at, at that point, I, you know, I was I was looking what they were doing, uh, not only on Rayman Origin at that point, and uh, I knew that the, the possibility of making a game that would look like a painting, like it was really available, and the tool was, per, uh, you know, perfect for working on a project with a you know smaller team, and to really push. Uh, distinct uh, art direction, so uh, so that was the, the perfect tool to kind of realize that dream. And your, your the central character in your story, Aurora, is a young girl. Does she have a particular age? Uh, not really, no. So it's, it's more like young girl, like I would say, because well, especially because it's a fairy tale, we really like we. We go, she looks like she's like uh, six or seven at the start of the game, and she she finish, and she you know she looks like a young eighteen, nineteen year old uh, woman, and it's mm -hmm. all happening at the you know a short period of time. So it's more symbolic. I would say she's really young at the start. Yes. So she get, she sort of grows up visually while you're playing. Uh, it's going to happen. It's not, it's not gradual, necessarily, in the sense that every time that she gains a level, she gains like an inch. It's more in her quest, she needs to find the, the sun, the moon, and the star, and every time that she, you know, one of those uh, pieces of light, then she, uh, she physically uh, grows up. But at the mm -hmm. same time, what happens in the, in the adventure will make her uh, also mature. Uh, and, and the way that she sees the world and she sees herself uh, and her and her friends. So then, you know, she 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 is going to be a, a full grown woman, not just physically but also uh, internally in, in how she uh, she thinks about the world and sees herself. So the game tracks this young girl. Um, is the, is there a particular age do you think that the game would be suited at? It seems that it recently got re. Um, rated as a Peggy 7. Um, does that reflect that it would be suitable for a, a younger player? Yeah, the, the idea of the Peggy 12, I don't, I don't know why it was rated Peggy 12. To be, uh, that was, uh, you know, I think because at, at first we sent them a description of what would happen in the game and they, they said, oh, uh, I don't, uh, it needs to be 12, but then they saw the game and you know, I think the, the, the treatment, you know, it's not glory early. I think in the theme of the, or what happened in the game, it deals, it deals about death and, and, and the feeling of being abandoned and, uh, and, 
had it. So, so probably that's that's why they wanted to put it twelve at first. But uh, you know, if I, I can bring my son or you know uh, to play one of the games that I like, you know, the turn-based RPG, and at the same time it's a you know it's a fair retail story about you know getting empowered. I think that being able to share an adventure, especially with a single player, perhaps you know, uh, story based adventure with somebody, it's a, uh, especially like your left one, your spouse, or your, your child, it, it, it's important to share those moments with, and then share, uh, you know, stories that have a positive uh, meaning. And the game offers a multiplayer mode. So it sounds like that would be quite good for, say, a father and son or mother and daughter to play the game together. Oh yeah, that's the that's the goal of the uh, the co-op mode. And even in the in the way we, uh, I thought about the co-op mode, it's also something where the second player doesn't need to be uh, doesn't even need to read. So you can go a bit more. If, you know, I'm uh, I'm moving around anywhere in the screen. I'm more free. Uh, but still important in the sense that you really influence uh, the game tactically with the player. So then there's a real sense of, of, of teamwork that is uh, important. The things you're talking about, the themes of growing up and of loss and things like that, seems like it's the sort of territory usually reserved for, say, books and films. Do you think games can deal with these issues as well? I think that games can tell any story as long as it's, um, uh, it, it fits with the game type that you're you're going for. So, you know, uh, if you make a shooter and it's like a, a, a shooter uh, killing is horrible, but then you make your shooting uh, fun, then it, it contradicts the uh, contradict the meaning. Uh, so. So if you take the little bricks of gameplay, a little bit like film editing, you know, you can you can feel frustrated, you can feel happy, and you know, you can do that with gameplay. And then after that, it's all it's the the work of the, the director to kind of like use those bricks to kind of create a tapestry that is the the story of the emotion that players are going to feel. And after that, you can put a narrative on it. And if it, it, it corresponds with the uh, uh, what you're doing and the emotion that you're feeling, then you, you can tell, you know, uh, pretty much every type of story. And, and how about how video games are marketed and sold? Because it feels like the way that w the sort of the marketing materials will talk about Child of Light, will talk about the exciting adventure, the role play aspect of it. But are less likely to talk about the sort of the tale of growing up and some of the more sort of worthy elements you're talking about. Do you think we need to do better at marketing these games? Uh, uh, I don't know. No, technically, I'm I'm just making the games, and then I, I have to you know let the uh, people in charge of marketing to uh, to do their work. You know, there's a point where, yeah, on my side, I have to kind of let it go. Mm -hmm. and at the end, my job is to make sure that the game is great. Mm. So even if the marketing would be off, then, uh, you know. So if you were talking to the parents listening to this, what would you say in terms of why it would be good for them and their family to play Child of Light? It's a, it's a wonderful adventure. You, you're really uh, enveloped in, in, a, in a magical world. It, it's not condescending to anybody. It's used the best of all art, you know, poetry, music, uh, uh, painting, and gameplay. And again, it's going to be extremely fun uh, and deep. So it's so it's, so it's really something that you can you can sit down. And, and enjoy, uh, enjoy it, and and feel like it, it plays with a lot of love. So that, that people are, are are going to spend a couple of evenings that they're going to remember uh, playing together with their family. It's going to be an adventure that they're going to be 
to share in a moment that we, you know, we, if we can do something together. Great. Well, we're really looking to getting our hands on the game proper and um, look forward to playing it. Thanks for your time. We really appreciate it. And uh, it should be pretty soon. Uh, well, the game uh, got the gold yesterday, so it's coming out at the end of the month, so uh, thanks.